under here we have uh, more flowers because there's branches coming off and basically uh, buds it'll kind of like where a leaf will come off the stem and then it'll just keep growing uh, it's, it's not too easy to get in there because everything's all tight but that's pretty much it we have here a group of three and another group of three now here these ones are turning yellow if this happens and the plant otherwise seems okay you can just leave it if they're really uh, dead they'll fall off if they don't fall off you don't have to break them off you can clip them off if you want to and if you clip them right there and leave the little nub on there don't tear it off just let it fall off in a couple of days if it is a problem this one it doesn't really matter it's got a, another small one up here that's also doing the same thing but if it, do, if it doesn't fall off I'll just leave it sometimes they'll turn yellow like that and then they'll turn dark dark green all over again this one here shows the branching I let this one just branch out because it just really really wanted to <laughs> But often what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll take uh, the clipping and put it in one of these. And eventually it gets to being like that. Eventually it doesn't need to stay in the tray all the time. They get bigger and bigger. Here's a bigger one. A square pot. Once they're big like this, they don't necessarily need to stay wet all the time. Uh, but you can, you can leave the tray full like this. What I've been doing is swapping the pots back and forth. Uh, so this one's always full of water, and this one, this one's not. water them it's right in the corners like this right out to the edges it's really a uh, as much as it needs <laughs> 